Hey beardsmen and beard lovers out there, hold up, stop. I want to start this video off with a challenge for anybody that has had personal experience with the Royal Beardsman Company. If you could be so kind, please scroll down, leave a comment with how did the products work for you and your beard? What were the scents like? What was their customer service like? any experiences whatsoever, I really want to open up this dialogue. So for those of you that are deciding whether you want to spend your hard earned money on this company or not, you can hear from more people than just me, my amazing, supportive, beautiful wife, Sam C, who I'll bring in in just a minute. We're going to run down some of the scents they have, some of our old favorites, but also some of their newest, that new, new, and we'll give you guys those updates there. And after she leaves, I'm going to come back and go over some pretty cool products uh, like this one, which is new to me and is pretty awesome. Them. this one which I'm super excited and stoked about and a bunch of other things after Sam leaves so make sure I know a lot of you are here just for Sam but trust me after she leaves I got some other decent stuff to go over as well and let me introduce myself my name is Dan the letter C and beard it. <laughs> now I only break that down and enunciate because people tell me in the comments that when they have the captions on uh, that YouTube will say that I'm, I'm saying my name is dancing bearded like dancing <laughs> bearded and I guess my beard does dance when I talk a little bit but I'm not much for dancing myself. Uh, but quickly a little bit about this company. They are one of the absolute best value to quality ratios that is out there period. Now again, this is an affiliate. And if you're new and you don't know what that word means, what's an affiliate? An affiliate means it's a company that I fully endorse. And if you use my code or my link, I do get a small kickback commission on those sales. Now this goes to the channel. This goes to helping things like this new mic that I have, these new lights that I have. And I'm hoping in the near future to make a big investment and upgrade my camera. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I think as I grow, so should the quality of the channel. And obviously that's a big, big hit to the, 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 gas tank to the money tank. So I'm hoping that I make the right educated decision. If you're a camera person, I'm using a Canon uh, M50. If you know what would be like the natural next step up, please throw it down in the comments below. I'm thinking of the uh, EOSR, something like that, OSR. Uh, Canon, I was looking into it, but I'm just not really good with all that camera stuff. But when I'm talking about value and how much I really like this company, this company goes with two ounce bottles of oil. If you guys use my affiliate code, which is Dan C Bearded, I'll throw it up over here. Yeah, we'll go over here this time. And it's capital D, capital C, capital B, capital DCB. That saves you 10%. This two ounce bottle of beard oil would go for $17. $17 and I'll go over all the carriers and all that, but this is outrageous. A one ounce bottle of beard oil going for $17 is right in the realm of normal, right in that average marketplace that would be a solid $2 sign price rating. But this is a two ounce bottle for $17 when you use that code. That's crazy. And, and you guys don't have to use my code. You don't have to use the link. You can go directly to their website. You don't have to save money. You can spend uh, anything you want, any way you want on there. But I'm always transparent. Being an affiliate, it's nothing I hide. I always make sure I note that in the description. I say it in the videos. I say it on Instagram. That's something that I'm very transparent about and, and want to give you guys that benefit so you know what is going on here. Okay. Oh, let me go over the carriers real quick here. Now I have their unscented oil right here. Listen to this carrier blend and remember that price that I told you that. Argan, jojoba, vitamin E, sweet almond, apricot kernel, avocado, grape seed, pumpkin seed, and hemp seed. There are some top notch carriers that are in there and some things that aren't cheap as well. So how do they do it? Well, you do save a little bit of money as a company when you go with two ounces. Oftentimes the price is in the bottle rather than the product. So there's just different ways that they're able to do that. But that means more for you guys. If you're someone that loves to use product or stick with one company, stick with one cent, two ounces is probably better than going with the one ounce for you. All right, got that. Oh, their vision. This was also important to me from the very beginning. They are huge on trying to break the stereotypes and stigmas that are negatively attached to beards. They want to make beards completely acceptable in any workplace. And from the very beginning, that was my vision and my goal. I am a teacher. So many people say, hey man, how's your school feel about your beard? Do you get any slack for having a beard as a teacher? Not at all. I own this. I'm very proud of it. I'm a professional. I'm very good at my job. All that helps, but I don't think that should be different than any other workplace out there. And I love that vision and, and path that they are on. All right. So we're going to go into this new intro. Yes, I said it. New intro. And then we'll check in with Sam C and then we'll come back for some more details.
beauty, beard, beauty, beard, <laughs> and we're from Michigan. This is my beautiful wife, Sam C. Hello. How you doing, Sam? Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> well, we have some new scents and products from Royal Beardsman. Now, this is a company that we've known for almost two years now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they were with us right along uh, the beginning of the journey. We've met one of their co-founders and co-owners in Shan down in uh, Disney in Florida. Yep. And uh, we, we really enjoy this company. So we're going to go over some of the new scents that they have here and also talk about some favorites from before. Uh, but first, I want to show you some of their packaging. They kind of did like an overhaul on their um, display and labeling and everything. So this is how the beard oil comes. And it has, nice. yeah, I know, it's got the little fancy box yeah. on it. Got the little like styrofoam on the inside there. So what are your thoughts on that? Super nice. Looks like it belongs in a store. And that's kind of, I think, an end goal of theirs. I'm not really well, sure, but yeah. it would it should be anybody's, right? <laughs> and then another thing that's nice is I have one of the old bottles and they went away from the child restrictor tops, which is nice. But something that I noticed too that's a huge change to it is they have the scent profile on their new labels. Smart. Which is so nice, <laughs> especially when I prepare for videos. Normally I print out like a list of the scent profiles because it's impossible to remember them all. Having it on the bottle, I encourage every yeah. company to do that. I love especially that. Especially when you have names that don't describe the smell. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> if it's uh, peppermint lemongrass, okay, we don't need to yeah, write peppermint right. lemongrass, but we get it. But like this first one here is elixir. Elixir. Elixir, you have no idea what that is. Yeah. So take a smell here and then I will read, I'm going to have you smell them first and then I will read the scent profiles. Okay. And some of these are brand new bottles. I've had testers for them. I have a second bottle that I've been using, uh, which is pretty nice to be able to have that ability there. Can I guess? Yes. Blueberry? Yes. Oh, is there more? Yes. Blueberry, vanilla, vanilla <laughs> <laughs> and cinnamon. Okay, yeah, I do get the cinnamon, yeah, just so a it, little bit. Yep, what are your thoughts on these? It smells like blueberry pie. Yes, it's really nice. Is I, blueberry pie a thing? Is that a thing? I would assume so. I'm sure there's a pie for every fruit. I don't know if I've ever <laughs> had a blueberry pie. I wore this the other day, and she goes, ooh, is that apples? And I said, or I said, smell my beard. She goes, ooh, is that apples? And I said, no, it's blueberry. She goes, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what do you think about it as a scent for me as, as something? I like it. I think it's a good summery scent. Yes, I really enjoy the scent of blueberries. Mm -hmm. I don't really like eating them that much. Same. Certain situations, and like muffins and pancakes and yes. stuff, they're good, but not by themselves. They're too tart. Uh, there's probably people like, ah. We love blueberries, but th this is a wonderful scent. Huge, huge addition to their lineup. It's light, it's summery, it's fresh, really enjoyable. All right, the next one is Exile. Okay. Exile. So what we go from Elixir oh, okay. to Exile. I know, a lot of similar letters there. And, uh, and I do have beard butters and all of these scents as well. They sent out one beard balm. I'm not, I don't really wear beard balm that much, but their beard balm is... Uh, uh, same scent as the the oil. So we have for keep exile getting, here. Like, different scents. Okay, that's a good sign. I smell bubble gum. Wow. And I also smell cigars. Interesting, interesting. So the scent profile is spiced citrus infused with natural and earthy cologne blends. Same thing. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> so what do you think here after hearing that? I can see that. You yeah. do get the you get the spiciness, which I think maybe was that cigar smell that I yeah, was smelling. Yeah, it's, it's unique. I don't even... And then the citrus is very, like, like I said, it kind of smells bubblegummy to me, like very sweet. Yeah, so this one, these are two ounce bottles, so it looks a lot less, but this one's down to the label for me. I've had to wear this one a bunch of times because I can't figure it out. <laughs> I, I don't I don't really know. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I dislike it. It's it's really, really unique. I don't give think, them one to discreet. Yeah, go ahead. I don't think that I like it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at on this one. I think a lot of you would like it because a lot of those guys like those puzzling, complex scents. And <laughs> I think what makes yeah, I think what makes a clone is where you can't pull out those individual characteristics. I couldn't tell you what scents were in yeah. here other than yeah, it's spicy. It's got like a little bit of a smokiness to it too. I'm gonna call it old man's bubble gum. Ah, see, I don't get bubble gum at all. I don't. I don't like even know what I get. Oh, he he's trying to cover gum. it up. Yeah. That makes it sound so bad, though. That's not <laughs> that's not accurate at all. It's a complex, like, thought-invoking scent. It really is. Really <laughs> is. All right, the next one is El Humidor. 
Mm. Yeah, El Humidor. <laughs> so Sam is traditionally not a fan of like. I guess I have been liking it lately. Let me finish. Cigar scents. You you like tobacco scents lately, but not as much cigar. And El Humidor. I actually like this. Do you? There yeah. you go. So El Humidor, I believe, should be like a cigar box, like a humidor. I smell cigar, but it's like fresh. Okay. So the Which, scent profile on this one is smooth and sweet Cuban cigar with hints of honey, black pepper, and vanilla. Black pepper. Mm, yeah, I get the black pepper 100%. I get the honey in there. It is. It's like, it's a cigar, but it's not that like dry and overwhelming cigar. Like it's not stale. Yeah, it's not a stale cigar. That's a good way to put it. Because I think yeah. a lot of times cigar scents smell stale to yes. me. And this is, yeah, it's more fresh. Yeah. It's a fresh, little bit earthy fresh on the tones. Cigar. And I did I say vanilla? Yes, because I do get the vanilla yeah. in there. Big okay, time. Now that you say that. Did you say honey too? Honey too, yep. Yeah, I get that now. So this is one of my favorite cigar scents, and I think this is one of their most popular. People rave about sense. this one. So yeah, that one is a surprise one because I'd never would have thought Sam would have liked that <laughs> one. Um, for me, I love it in oil. I also have it in uh, butter and balm. I, it's definitely not a butter scent for me because yeah, I wear butter I to bed. I would not want to go into bed with this one, but as an oil for the day, really, really good. Especially if you're like hanging out with your buddies. I like to wear a cigar kind of scents when, when I want to hang out with my, my friends. All right, next one. This is the old bottle, but it's definitely <laughs> worth bringing back because of how much Sam loves it. And it's still for sale on their site. Uh, and, and this is probably a year and a half old and we'll still be able to see if it's held its scent and everything. And this is King's Lagoon. All right, let me say that again. King's Lagoon. Mm. And the old bottles do not have the scent profile on them, so we just got to kind of describe them for you. I think it's on the oh website, but we'll do our best. How would we even describe? This is one of the scents. So I've smelled. How many have I smelled? At least 1,500 to 2,000. <laughs> yeah, at least. This is one of my top few oils. Yeah. I... I'm obsessed with. I love the scent of she it. She puts it in diffusers all yeah. over our house. Like if it somebody's just, coming over, she wants our house to smell like it's this. Great. It's how do you describe it? What what is it? Is it floor? Is it on the floral side? Let me smell it again. It smells like a resort. It like if does, you go, it yeah, truly does. <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? Yes. Like if you go to a <laughs> Disney resort and you walk in, you get that experience of like. Oh, the there's like some, a fountain yeah. and like fresh flowers. That's what I was like thinking of. It, tropical yes, plants. Yes, it smells like that experience. You walk yeah. in, you're like, okay, something is special here. I That's love it. That's what this it. smells like. Love, love, love it. That's very, my favorite. Very calm. Very, mm -hmm. very beautiful scent. But it's not It's not like a, a feminine floral. Nope. Mm -hmm. It's it, There's a manliness to it too. Uh, King's Lagoon is a classic. Yes. Sam, Sam still all the time. Puts talks it in diffusers it. <laughs> and talks about it. I said, today's Royal Beersman. She goes, ooh, please tell me King's Lagoon. <laughs> and I was like, yep. All right, next one. This one is uh, one that we've had for a while, but I don't think we've reviewed it. They sent it out and uh, to try it and use it. And this is Cavalier. So what you got here for Cavalier? Mm. Let me smell that again. What is that? Cavalier. So this is warm vanilla, citrus, Cinnamon and several light tones to build complexity. Hold on, I gotta smell that again. Mm. It smells like. You got something that reminds you of? Like a fresh mm. flower, like just bloomed. You put your nose like right in it. I don't think I've ever done that. Really big whiff. Wow. It's kind of like overwhelming in your face strong yeah it's definitely potent yeah. it has a little bit of that spice in there what did i say cinnamon and my skin usually reacts to cinnamon i don't react to this at all i get some orange in there i like uh some it's like orange peel like orange zest mm. let's see if you can smell like orange zest do you get that at all i don't i just get mm. and it's not like a not like a rose sort yeah. of floral scent it's like a earthy sort of floral yeah like maybe it reminds me when i went to get shrubs and we had like 15 shrubs in the car okay and there was just an overwhelming like plant smell interesting huh so maybe if you stuck your face in like an evergreen <laughs> then you guys will get an idea <laughs> <laughs> all right and last one we're gonna cover today this one we have covered before but they have a new bottle and this is the sire sire so let's see what you got here 
Mm, Sire. That's good. Yep. So they say this is a uh, complete essence of a high end cologne. Yes. Agreed. Yep. This it's is one of your great. first favorite colognes, yeah. and it has extended all throughout the year and a half, I think, that we've <laughs> had this, and she still loves that one. It's a good one. So for me, my favorite out of this bunch, and these are some of the all-time favorites for anybody that, that I've used, is the newest one. I love the Elixir Blueberry. I'm really feeling blueberry scents. I love King's Lagoon. King's Lagoon, guys. And that's a that's a good one to to make the lady happy as yes. well. So awesome. Royal Beardsman. Royal T. Sam C. Royal T. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you as always. You're welcome. Aw, isn't she wonderful? I know, I know. I don't know how I did it, guys. I don't like to ask questions because then maybe people might start answering, start thinking too much. I just go with the flow. She's my wife. I don't know how I did it. But I don't want to waste you guys' time. I want to get into some new products and some new things to talk about here. First and foremost, this little box right here impressed the heck out of me. I've never seen anything like this. And I, when I got this, I didn't know what it was. And first off, it had these little stickers on the side that you had to get a knife, cut those to make sure you're good. And then as I took this off, look at how cool and impressive this was. As I open it, this is their sample pack. You guys, look at that. This is absolutely amazing. First thing is you'll notice on the side and on the bottom, it's got foam to protect these. So there's some give to this when I push down. And there are two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, if I'm counting right, who knows. Once it gets past two hands, I'm in trouble. Eleven different scents in here. I believe that this is a dram. Look at the size of this thing. Awesome. And these are so legit. This has on here the scent name. It has on here the ingredients of the carrier blend and it has the scent profile. Look at how, you're gonna get me there, you're gonna get me baby, come on, come on. I know it wants to focus on the beard, oh yeah. Look at that, so cool. And another thing that I really love about these samples is oftentimes when I get these drams, they have those little mini restrictor caps on top, on top and all I do is get a knife and remove them because nothing comes out. This is just opened here. Seriously amazing, amazing. This is more than enough for one use for me. Oftentimes companies have those little bitty baby ones. I've talked about them many times on the channel. Companies that I like, but I can't use those samples because it's not enough for one application for me. So this sample kit's on the site, guys. I think it's, if you use the discount code, it's just around $20 there. That's crazy. To be able to try everything out, wonderful, wonderful deal. Now a couple other random ones. I got this one. I also didn't know what it was. I was like, ooh, what's this? Uh, and it was a lanyard. So I'm not really exactly a lanyard guy, especially with a beard. So I was kind of like, oh, all right, but that's cool. I'm sure some people will really dig that. Uh, they also have this little keychain, which is nice and neat in there. Some other tools and other products. Uh, they have this Boar's bristle brush. They have some of the best tools. They really, some companies know how to go to the right place. Obviously, they're not out there making this themselves and getting the Boar's hair and woodworking, but they know where to go to the right supplier and they get all their, their little etching done in there. This is one of those really nice contoured Boar's bristle brushes. I don't really use a brush anymore at my length, but I know a lot of you do, and that's a really good option. They have a traditional oxhorn comb. You guys know how much I love an oxhorn comb. And then my current obsession, combs with handles. I have wood combs with handles. I have oxhorn combs with handles. I have buffalo horn with candles, or handles, not candles, no candles. And then look at this, etched into the into the handle there. I believe this is an oxhorn comb one. Just works so nice. Get the mustache there real quick. I don't know what it is. I just like that little bit of extra leverage when I'm combing my beard. I really have not used the old style of comb in a long time. I'm all about the handles these days and they have some great options there. Now, some other things. I wanna show you guys how some of the products come. I have some of these up in my shower right now. I think I have like four sets of the Royal Beardsman wash and conditioner. And this one I have Tortuga Bay upstairs. Look at how it comes. It comes in this plastic, which is super nice. If you're an avid collector like me, a lot of you have probably received water-based products that the label has, or the seal has burst. It gets in the product, it ruins the labels on some. No good, no bueno. This is an awesome touch here. They have a super high quality wash and conditioner, AKA co-wash, if you wanna give those ones a look. Now the beard balm kind of comes like the beard oil like I showed. I just don't wear beard balm these days. Their beard balm is a straight up creamy medium. So if you're looking for part nourishment and you're looking for part hold, that's gonna do it for you guys there. And then also the beard butter is similar to the wash and conditioner. We know that beard butters can melt. 
So that's something you want to be very careful of. I recommend, this is coming from Florida, if you receive this, put it in your fridge right away. But what it's going to do is it's going to prevent any leakage from going on there, and it does have like the seal on the inside, you know, the little like foamy type thing, I don't know the proper term for it there. And this is El Humidor if you're wondering why it's not open. Uh, El Humidor, is, as I said, it's not going to fit for a butter for me. Uh, but they are awesome. I want to show you guys the, the butters. They've had some awesome butters for one, two years now. They were established in 2018, and I used them starting in like the fall of 2018. And this one I just busted out, used last night. I went with their unscented oil and their unscented butter to make sure I really had a full grasp on the feel for their products. I want to show you guys here what it looks like. That and that amount, if you're curious, that is one use from me. That is how much I use for one use. So I'm going to get this out here, show you guys. It is a whipped butter, but it's not like a super airy whipped butter. It has a little bit of body to it, not really any hold. You can see here, it just melts right away, completely gone. You guys know that from those. So I'm going to put on my elbows, get my dry skin a little bit. You know from those lighter whipped butters, it does not take much to melt it down whatsoever. And for me at night, I'm really digging those light butters that I don't have to work to melt down. Because sometimes I'm tired. I'm filming, I'm editing, I'm answering comments, I get done with a live stream. I'm just exhausted. I don't want to have to sit there and uh, get the product out of my fingers, you know, chase around grit and stuff in there. If I can just do that, one, two, boom, put it in beard. That's a huge benefit for my lazy, tired self at times at night. So the beard butter is awesome. It carries the scent true. There's no carrier uh, that comes through. There's no butter smell that, that's in there. And let me go over the, the carriers real quick on the butters here. We have shea butter. Argan oil, jojoba, vitamin E, and it goes into their carrier oils. So the main thing here is shea butter, which is the best butter for your beard and the skin underneath. Okay, covered those. They do have stickers. I know you guys like stickers. Stickers over there, lanyard. I think I covered, oh yeah. They also sent this one out too. Real sexy bag here. Got the leather on there. Got the little strap. The only thing that is a downfall with this bag for me is there is absolutely no padding. It is as thin as thin gets. So when you're having there, you want to make sure you're being really careful with those glass bottles because that could be a mess. But man, it looks good. It's going to hold a lot. I just wish it had a little bit of padding in there. I wish maybe there were some pockets in there, but it still looks good. Really cool quality product on that one. All right. Covered all the new, 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 new. I'm going to collect my thoughts and I'll be back to you guys in two seconds. Royal Beardsman Beard Oil and Beard Butter are two of my most used from any company. Sam loves the scents. I really enjoy the scents and the feel in beard is top notch. My beard feels healthy. My styling is wonderful. It gets great nourishment at night from the butter. I really, really like these guys. I highly recommend them to you out there. Hopefully people have already left their comments so you guys can hear from others on their experiences with this company. And I appreciate all the support, all the views, guys. That really means a lot to me. It's not something that I take lightly or take for granted. So if you have any questions on this company or any other products, I would be happy to do my best to get back to you and answer them. I know that they will be active in the comments as well to help when they can. So thank you one more time, guys. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded and stay positive.